Welcome to the All Plan Quick Start Lesson Roof in which we will now create the roof components. What should you expect from this lesson? In this lesson, we're creating the attic walls and an encircling sheet metal profile on these. We will quickly and easily design a roof and then also the story component that will give us the facade preview. We again begin by opening the building structure, right-clicking in the background and double-clicking one of the drawing file favourites that I prepared to load it, Lesson 6, 1, Start. This drawing file favourite activates the practice drawing file that I have prepared for the components in the roof so that we can again focus completely on drawing. We exit the building structure by clicking Close. If you have already viewed the previous Quick Start lessons, then you already know that we will next select components from a wizard, our component collection. At the end of this lesson, I will show you how you can easily and quickly create such a wizard yourself. Ensure here that the design drawing is set so that the components in your wizard look just as they are shown here in the film. Open the wizard palette and then open the architecture wizard here again. I have created the area roof in this one, and that is where we will find the attic walls. Right double click on the attic wall and select the rectangular component. Zoom in on one of the corners in the plan. Left click on the corner. Zoom in on the opposite corner and left click on this. Press escape. The four attic walls have now been created. To view them better, I switch back to the 2 plus 1 animation window view. Another small reminder here. The appearance of the animation window, that is the background and the position of the sun, can be adjusted to your preferences in the surroundings function, which you can access by right-clicking in the animation window. Please note, you can then only display the physical sky if your computer has a CAD-compatible graphics card. An onboard graphics card alone is insufficient to be able to use this function. We also take the encircling parapet sheet metal from the wizard. After right double-clicking on the flashing, I turn on a front-left isometric view in this window by holding the mouse on View and clicking on this arrow. In addition, I switch the view from wireframe to hidden. I now have to click anywhere on the exterior wall line to begin. Click all four corners and then click the point again where I began with the entry. I then close the function by clicking on apply. Remember, during the entry, I zoom in and out with the scroll wheel and move the screen content by moving the mouse with the scroll wheel pressed down. I exit the function by clicking Escape. I can now view the sheet metal in the animation window. Now we can design a roof quickly and easily. Right double click on the roof surface in the wizard palette and create a contour based roof surface using the polyline entries. Before we start with the entry, we define the desired parameters in the Properties palette. I want to keep the format and the name, but I define the bottom level as vertical distance from the lower plane, so enter 0.52 and confirm with OK. In the Input options for the entry of polylines, I click on Multi and enter the first point at the bottom left, then the second one and escape. A rectangle is automatically generated across the diagonal. I do the same for the other rectangle. By clicking plus, the area is added. Pressing escape, we finish entering the polyline and now edit the edges. I select this edge and in the edge settings area, we select the inclination, pitch selection, under type. The roof area supports negative roof pitches and I define a negative pitch by setting minus one as entry. A hint at this point, 
There is only a positive pitch for the roof plane. Now click on the opposite edge and it will be marked additionally. Since I only want to define this edge by clicking left on the first edge, I can deactivate it and set the desired parameters. With the Save as Favorite function, I can save the parameters from the format, attributes and height settings areas of the current roof area and use these parameters again when creating a new roof area with load favorite. By pressing escape twice, we finish the input. The visibility of the roof surface can be switched on or off via the options, page, desktop environment animation in the area, general, selecting the option, display planes. I prefer to switch it off. Now we can model the graveled flat roof. First, in addition to the slab, we produce a filling of lightweight porous concrete with a slope. Double-click right on filling in the roof wizard. Using properties, we can change the different parameters of the slab. For example, using the height button, I connect the top edge to the roof surface with an offset of minus 0.26. I confirm my entry with OK and enter the outline of the slab using the polyline entry. Only the flat roof covering is still missing. And I double-click right on the roof covering. The roof covering consists of several layers. I check the parameters and define the location using the height reference. Also, here I connect the bottom level to the roof surface with the offset minus 0.26. Confirm the properties with OK and enter the roof covering. Pressing Escape, I finish the entry and we see the designed flat roof in the animation window. Subsequent changes can be made easily. Only the facade optics are now missing. In the wizard, I double-click on the story roof edge Zoom in on one of the exterior corners in the plan. Ensure that you only grab the exterior corner of the wall and not the parapet sheet metal we just created. Left click and zoom in on the opposite corner. Click there and complete the process by pressing escape twice. Do a quick visual check in the animation window, looks good. At this point, we will briefly discuss how to create a wizard on your own. The brilliant thing about such wizards is that they give me a collection of components that I create myself and that I can always use. Using wizards means no more searching, having everything in a central location and doing as little repetitive work as possible. One more technical note, the method of creating a wizard that I will now show you is intended for all plan users who use the all plan standalone on their computers. Users who work together with other AllPlan users in an office and who store their AllPlan projects centrally on a server use a different method that is just as simple. For our little exercise, we will load a drawing file favorite again, Lesson 6 to Wizard. This loads the entire cafe ground floor drawing file, which we have saved as a wizard since it contains a whole range of components that can be used time and time again. I simply click on the All Plan A in the frame and select Save Copy as a Wizard and Show. Windows Explorer opens where I can specify the name and storage location of the wizard. In this example, I will leave the location as All Plan Suggestion and I name the wizard Own Wizard for Practice. After clicking on Save, AllPlan asks me to specify a name for the group in which the wizard is to appear in AllPlan. I decide on the name Own and confirm this by pressing OK. In the wizard palette, the new group appears and the new wizard appears in this group. You now always have access to this wizard, no matter in which AllPlan project you are currently working. To complete the lesson, we now load some of the components I have prepared by selecting the drawing file favorite, Select Lesson 6, 3.